This is the new Smithblade, a 21-in-1 titanium multi-tool with an M390 blade. Now available on Kickstarter. Here we go. Yeah, this isn't your grandpa's pocket knife. Woo! Clean in half. That's a clean cut. That's beautiful. Out of everything my team and I have done on YouTube, from lightsabers to giant mechs to Iron Man tech, we're most proud of this knife. It looks like we plucked it out of science fiction and made it real. Series 4 de -atomizer. It's packed with 21 genuinely useful tools engineered to keep you prepared for anything life throws at you. And it's light. At 95 grams, you won't even notice you're carrying it. I wanted to create the ultimate everyday carry. In this video, I'm going to go over what makes it special and why I'm excited to get it in your hands. And in the next video, we're going to show you how we designed it and, of course, make one from scratch. This is, or rather, was, my trusty multi-tool from when I was a Boy Scout. Our motto, always be prepared. At the time, I had no idea how much I would truly embody that motto as the Hacksmith, or how this tool would go on to inspire our logo. And don't get me wrong, I love these things. There's a reason they've been around for over a century. But when your design hasn't changed much since then, well, let's just say they could use some more modern improvements. Now I've bought hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars worth of multi-tools and pocket knives over my life. And while I love the concept of an all-in-one multi-tool plier, their extra weight meant I never actually carried them. They'd end up in my car or in a drawer, but not on me when I actually need them. So I set out to create the perfect everyday carry. Small and light enough to carry with me every day, useful enough to actually help. That's when the dream of the Smithblade began. But long before the multi-tool you see here, we'd actually tried coming out with the Smithblade utility knife almost two years ago. Our plan was to make the ultimate DIY utility knife, offering insane customization options. We pulled the trigger and ordered a thousand of them. But when they finally arrived, we noticed a major safety flaw. So we took the loss and didn't sell a single one. Now obviously there is more to that story, but you'll have to catch our next video where we do a deep dive into the design and history of the Smithblade. We had to start from scratch. I settled on a core utilitarian flipper tab style design featuring a frame lock handle and an aggressive reverse tanto style blade. It's not spring loaded, but it is a one hand open. But don't worry, we will be making a two hand open non-locking variety as well for countries that have more specific knife laws. You see, I wanted to take the very best of the classic pocket knife multi-tool add in the modern features we need, like precision screwdrivers with reach and genuinely useful tools for every day. Two months later, I had a prototype with 15 added in tools that I started carrying every day. This one, right here. It was really good, but it wasn't perfect. That was about a year ago. Since then, Ben and I have been obsessing over every detail, adding features, testing, improving, and turning this into a truly engineered masterpiece. From numerous fully functional revisions to dozens upon dozens of individual part revisions, there's no detail we haven't triple checked. I poured my heart and soul into this and maybe crossed the line into madness here and there. But from the beginning, we wanted this to be the best tool in your pocket. We wanted to use advanced materials like titanium to keep it light, strong, and durable, and to top it off with a blade made of M390 in a process that sounds like science fiction itself. It's a powder metallurgy-based steel so strong, it's literally capable of cutting other knives in half. But what is M390 anyway? Put simply, it's one of the world's best blade steels known for insane edge retention, corrosion resistance, and overall performance. And it's not just the blade. You're getting hacks with design, genuinely useful tools, titanium construction, precision engineering, all without the premium price. In fact, the Smith Blade might be one of the only serious multi-tools out there with an M390 blade. So let's stop beating around the bush. What's this thing gonna cost you? Well, most knives with M390 can cost upwards of $500. So how's half sound? 
The Smithblade Pro with 21 tools and an M390 blade is just $249 for a limited time on Kickstarter. Better still, the Smithblade 14 one is only $199. And to make sure everyone can carry a Smithblade, we have the Smithblade Lite 7 one on Kickstarter for under $100. It's not about making a ton of money. I want you to carry a Smithblade because I know what it's like when the right tool at the right time changes everything. And it might just save your life. With months upon months of daily testing and use, and dozens upon dozens of individual part revisions to make every detail of the Smithblade perfect, we're confident this will be your favorite and the best designed tool in your pocket. Make sure you subscribe to see our next video where we do a deep dive on the design and engineering that went into the Smithblade, and of course, another video on how we make them from scratch, as well as ramping up production here at Herc. We've officially launched the Smithblade on Kickstarter to enable us to bring manufacturing in-house. And unlike many campaigns on Kickstarter, this isn't a concept product. There are no unknowns or risks here. We've already got the Smithblade designed, locked, and ready for manufacturing. We just need to purchase more CNC machines to ramp up production, which is why we're on Kickstarter. And the better this campaign does, the faster we'll get Smithblades out to you guys. And we know a lot of you are excited from the very first teases we gave out last year for the Smithblade, so we even have Smithblade Lite and Pro Founders Editions in stock for immediate shipment after the campaign ends. So if you can't wait to get one, make sure you snag one of the early bird rewards. This is the Smithblade, and it puts the hack into Hacksmith.